pictures and stories flashing across Britain's newspapers allegedly showing supermodel Kate Moss snorting cocaine at a West London recording studio where her rocker boyfriend Pete Doherty was recording his new album, the pressure quickly began to mount. Several of her big contracts were revoked as H&M, followed by Chanel, followed by Burberry, discontinued using Kate as their brand image. Some attacked her on the grounds that she was a mother and a role model. Others cried hypocrisy. Why was Kate being attacked when it was well known that cocaine was widely taken recreationally in both the fashion and music industries? The time that Kate Moss was being jettisoned by companies for taking drugs, you had a Tory leader being elected who was accused in his youth certainly of taking cocaine and yet he was successfully elected leader of the Tory party and yet Kate Moss wasn't deemed fit to be a front for various advertising campaigns. But here if you were a 31 year old model in the fast lane, in the rocket lane of, 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 of the fashion world and of the music industry, apparently you're not allowed to snort a line when we know that people who are writing about this are doing it every night. This sentiment was also echoed by other stars. I find the, the way that some people in various media groups who I have personally taken cocaine with are now talking about and saying that she shouldn't take cocaine. You know, I've done cocaine with these people. I've done cocaine with the people that are writing the stories. Pete and Kate temporarily split. Pete flew to Arizona and admitted himself into the same rehab center that Kate had vacated only days earlier. The stories ran and ran. By now, all the newspapers, broadsheets and tabloids had joined in. Even the glossy magazines were part of the feeding frenzy, and a frenzy it was. There were stories ripping across the media daily and by the dozen. The very organizations that had built up Kate Moss were now tearing her down. There's a sort of newspaper hypocrisy. I mean, Kate Moss is built up as this wonderful figure. But what newspapers love to do is kick someone when they're down. And when she's down, the tabloids will pile in. And then they'll happily build her up again until the next time. You put a Kate Moss story on the front of the newspaper and will sell maybe an extra 500,000. And that is worth millions in terms of revenue and advertising. This was on the cover of newspapers day after day after day. It was one of those things that became just an obsession. <laughs>